So I'm here now with June Barnes, who's going to tell us about her techniques and her beautiful pieces. And I was just blown away when I walked in here and looked at this 3D textural piece. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about how you made this? This piece is made as a whole cloth mm -hmm. with a border stitched to it. And under the top layer, I've attached Scooby-Doo wire, which you will no doubt be able to explain, and buttons. Mm. And then I've layered that on top of wool viscose felt, which shrinks, mm. quilted it extensively, mm. and then washed it vigorously. Is the felt a wool? It's a wool viscose mix, okay. so it shrinks. Okay. So once it's shrunk, you get all of this distortion. Oh, great. And then I've dyed it afterwards, so it was made in white. Oh, wow. So that's what so, I do. Okay. So the Scooby-Doo wire is, I think I used to crochet bracelets out of it when I was a little girl. Sounds like it, yeah. Yeah. As we did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's look at the next piece. Okay. Well, this is a fun piece, and this is a similar technique. We were just admiring the puckering in right. this piece and the zipper. The zipper's been added into the seams, and because it's metal, when we use this shrinkage system that we've used in the other piece, mm -hmm. it buckles, and you mm. get this sort of technique. Mm -hmm. This people obviously often wonder if it's pieced and how I got that. Mm -hmm. And it's literally a striped fabric, mm -hmm. which has been stitched with a coloured thread. Mm. And then when it's shrunk, it just gives you this amazing texture. Oh, that's great. And I love the, the puckering in the black background, too. That is literally just stitching round and round and round in circles. And the same shrinking technique gives you this lumpy. Mm. Lovely lumps. Lovely lumps. <laughs> So this is a real eye-catching piece, and I understand this is an award-winning quilt as well. Yeah, this piece won first contemporary quilt maker quilt quilts in the in the uh, 2010 quilt show. Okay. Yeah. And so and it's, it's hand dyed, and what other techniques? Is well, that right? Well, it's pieced. It's mm -hmm. pieced. Oh, well, it's, it's pieced. based. It's based on a block. Can't mm -hmm. think what the block is called. A very traditional block, but because of the shrinkage, mm -hmm. it's become a contemporary piece. Mm. But it's natural fibers, pieced, put onto the wool, viscose batting, mm -hmm. stitched and shrunk. And it's got the scooby wire again on these bits here, which give it the distortion. Mm. So the symmetrical distortion creates the cross shape. Yes, yes. Yeah. So this has actually got secondary patterns happening. Okay. Yeah. That's beautiful. So this is a very interesting piece. Actually, there are two pieces here that have a gradation mm -hmm. of color from uh, the purple to the yellow. So it's an exchange dyeing. So I've started with the purple dye in one bucket, mm -hmm. crossed over to a, um, a yellow in the final bucket, so nine gradations, mm -hmm. just gradually changing the, the proportion of the two colors together mm -hmm. to get this exchange dye, and that's basically the colors that have been used mm. to do this. And so interesting, uh, using complementary colors and achieving mm. all those secondary mm. colors in between. It's great fun, yeah. So here's another piece with the gradation or mm -hmm. the color exchange uh, with a completely different way of handling. Just making individual units of cones and mm -hmm. arranging them so that the, the same gradation of color and the exchange of color happens, but on a, a more dimensional mm -hmm. way. Yeah. And this sculpture has an audible component, doesn't it? It has. It's got a little um, motion-triggered sound box of bees humming because it was inspired by um, uh, foxgloves, oh. you know, the garden plant. Okay. So when one walks past walks this, past it, it triggers the bees The buzzing. bees start buzzing. <laughs> you can listen okay. and you'll hear. Well, before we pull the curtain on June's gallery today, I'd just like you to tell us about this button blind. It's um, made using 10,066 or almost that number of buttons, which is appropriate because I come from 1066 country, oh. which is Hastings. Oh, great. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. It's Bye -bye. a pleasure. Thank you.